Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing April budget checking and May budget prep. Now, April month, I did my Excel sheet management as well, which is in depth. Of course, like I told you, uh, the video is already up in case if you want to follow the Excel method. And of course, this is just a rough one for a physical, you know, sort of a feel because I like to write and plan and all of those things. So you can check that out. And I've mentioned I'm not really comfortable sharing everything in detail, like all of my income and all. But a roughly one that I have shared, so you all can guess, of course, I don't earn in lakhs or anything. It's just that it's just how I am anyway. So let's start off with our April budget check in. Uh, basically, this is a rough thing that I've done over here. This is something that you have already seen in the start of the month. This is a rough uh, expense sheet that I've actually all of this is not even a rough. It's the original expense. So my daily expense was four thousand eight hundred and twenty four this basically includes like petrol it also has other miscellaneous items and you know if i'm going out and i got something or uh you know i had to do a recharge or something like that any subscriptions all of that is included in this so this is 4824 also i gave some money to my brother so everything is included in here then we've got food and groceries where i spent a whipping 10200 rupees so out of this the major expense was 5000 where i went with my family and 3500 where i went out with my cousin so this was the split share so you can assume the amount of money that i've spent in food and groceries so yeah it came out to be so much of course we had guests at the end of the month so i had to purchase a few other grocery items and what really happens is of course i stay with my parents but then you know people are coming in guests are coming in and your parents will ask you to order a few groceries of course i'll end up paying for that it's counted in this 10200 rupees i i feel like at one point you know it's your responsibility so yes then skincare i basically purchased the pika padukone skincare line for a complete full fledged review if you guys don't know i have three channels on youtube one is a butter channel which is this then i've got a lifestyle channel so if you want to know what's happening in my life and everything you want to watch my blogs skincare stuff you can watch that channel and i have a study channel which i'm not really that active but i'm planning to so anyway i purchased dipika padukone skincare brand and i got around 50 percent off because uh 45% uh, no yes 35% was their store discount that I got and then I got an additional 10% off on using my credit card so I got around 45% off so the products are actually worth around 10,000 but I got it for 4,700 so yeah you're going to be seeing a full-fledged review on her brand then investment I basically invested 8,500 which is my regular investment but on top of this I also invested 1,30,000 uh in stocks so i basically purchased stocks worth one lakh thirty thousand so that is there in my excel sheet i'll just put up a pop of that so yeah in total if i have to remove my investment my total expense for the month including my food and groceries and skincare came about one uh one nine seven eight that's nineteen thousand seven hundred and eighty eight and i did this physically like i calculated this physically and i tallied it with my excel sheet and actually it was pretty close so i'm really happy how the excel sheet is turning out to be very very helpful so this was my april budget breakdown this was the budget allotment now we are in the month of may uh, honestly another thing i wanted to mention usually in the rollover amount that i have i always have some amount but this time all of my envelopes are empty that is because i used up all of them so yeah this time there's going to be no roll over anyway you will see that in my cash stuffing video now let's start off with our may budget goals one of the goals that i always share with you guys in my monthly reset video on my main channel if you don't watch that you should that is earn some additional money so this time i really want to earn an additional 10,000 rupees so I'm just writing additional 10,000 last month I wanted to earn additional 5,000 which I did okay next budget goal is of course uh, food expense I want to control I might travel this month I have some work related trip so I might travel so I'm gonna be reasonable and give myself 5,000 in food or dine out 
and this is all online expenses okay guys the cash one is completely separate like i told you i manage my money 70s to 30 70% online 30% cash so like that so food dine out i want to give around 5000 rupees and for any other items um, i'm not surely sure if i want any other budget goals as of now this is the main you know important one so yeah but if i have to say i would consider like keeping my credit card bills because credit card is like such an impulse thing so i really want to keep my credit card bill max 10000 i don't think so that'll happen because i'm going to spend some money for from my birthday money for my birthday month which is just a month next but it's going to be in the first week of june so i'm going to be keeping it to like 10000 to 15000 the budget for my credit card bill so it's much better anyway now let's come to my may money affirmations it's just something that i do every month and i don't know why this pen is not really working well i'm just going to you know scribble it back and see i don't know why i always pick up a random pen i have like such beautiful pens anyway so may money affirmations so i'm going to write money flows easy to me i really regret getting this pen over here now because the black pen that i used to make this was beautiful also now i'm using these washi tapes they look really pretty now i'm going to write i am a money magnet and last one is going to be i'm aligned with the energy of wealth and abundance so i'm just going to write i am aligned with the energy of wealth and abundance okay now coming to credit card bills um i just have the previous month credit card bills due out of which one i've already cleared which my father owes me and another one which is a huge one it's for like 1 lakh 20000 that also my father is supposed to pay me back so yeah that's the only bill pending so i'm not going to write it over here anyway let's come to our fixed expenses for me 2023 a couple of fixed expenses happening of course 8500 will be my investment uh constant investment like basically something sip sort of a thing that i that goes out straight from my account then we've got around 500 rupees for recharge as well as my subscription for uh youtube premium so yeah that's there and the reason why i pick up premium is because i listen to youtube music and it, a lot of things are downloaded and i just feel like the ads and all is better so yeah i've got that and i watch the podcast on youtube premium only like the uh, youtube music one because i feel like the spotify one would be like pointless i'm okay to wait for a day more so anyway we've got that other than that i've got around 2000 rupees already like counted in my head for my bike repairs basically i want to change my tire and the rainy season is going to come soon in the month of june so i really want to change the bike tires so i'm considering 2000 as a fixed expense and apart from that of course there are going to be random expenses which will come in my cash budgeting and this we'll be doing by the end of the month like how i did over here now let's come to the budget allotment which of course we all wait for this time i'm cost cutting quite a lot because i really want to save uh, some money specifically and invest in stocks so anyway so petrol i'm just going to keep simple 500 which i do always total i allot for petrol 1500 rupees from 1500 500 is cash and 1000 is from credit card because i get a good amount of points on petrol purchases the surcharge behavior because i've got a indian oil credit card i guess so i think they've upgraded now i don't know dine out again 500 i have kept a budget of 5000 like i told you usme se 500 is cash and rest is online miscellaneous will also get 500 i'm skipping on groceries this month because it will be included in my you know food dine out money so yeah vacation is going to get um i don't know how much should i put on vacation should i put 1000 or 1500 let's just put 1500 because i'm planning for a vacation not any time soon but after like a couple of months bills i'm going to keep 1000 as usual entertainment is going to get skipped 
emergency fund 2500 as usual birthday is going to get 1000 now the birthday money okay in my cash stuffing video you will see i'm gonna remove that money because i'll be putting it in my bank because i'll purchase things from that money that's the reason i saved it anyway and i what i'm doing now from next month onwards from june i'm going to be stuffing in 2000 rupees in my birthday money so i get more amount of money saved next year medicals medicals is going to be getting 500 as usual festival is going to get 500 again nothing really important that i have to save for beauty is going to get skip thousands challenge will of course get thousand as uh, usual and then we've got slow and steady challenge which i'm not sure how much should i put i guess okay so i think i want i have a certain amount and okay that's 5800 so i think i'll put 1200 rupees in my slow and steady uh challenge 1200 rupees and a year of growth challenge clearly i have to put 4000 because there's no other option um uh, yeah so this is going to be there let's just quickly add this up and see what is the total cash that i'll be needing so i'll keep that much in my next video 500 500 plus 500 plus 1500 plus 1000 plus 2500 plus 1000 plus 500 plus 500 plus 1000 plus 1200 plus 4000 so that's 14700 rupees is what i'll be needing so i'm just gonna write 14,700 uh yeah i think that's much uh another thing i want to uh so i'm going to be keeping thousand for giving so i'm going to be adding thousand more and i'm just going to write here um additional 1000 rupees for giving slash dog food because i'm going to be buying some dog food as well so anyway so this is going to be my budget uh this is my budget breakdown guys so this was the wrap up. I hope you all found it helpful. I hope even you all are assigned with your budgeting goals. So yeah, guys, this was the video. Make sure you give, it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.